Hey, Shane, just hoping to kind of get your overall assessment just to how OTAs and, uh, and mini camp went for your bunch, what you accomplished and uh, what you feel good about heading into to the break. Yeah, I think just with uh, all the new faces, I think getting to know each other, building those relationships, continuing to build trust in each other. Um, I think the guy's understanding of concepts and how the guys next to him affect them on any given play. I think we've kind of progressed in that regard. Um, I mean, we've spent a lot of time on third down, obviously. I think we're kind of getting to the point where we're more, more comfortable doing that stuff, all on the same page, being coordinated with what we're trying to get accomplished on third down. Um, ultimately, we'll find out come training camp. I mean, a lot of jog through type stuff, obviously, these past few weeks. So come training camp when we get some speed and some other things, um, and kind of be a tell for some of that stuff. Paul. Hey, Shane, uh, we talked to Bayard recently, and he talked a little bit about playing um, a lot more left and right last year than, than strong and free, so to speak. Could you talk us through why you guys went that way and, and how maybe you anticipate going forward? Yeah, I think it's all based on your personnel, what guys do, um, who they are in terms of, I mean, obviously last year, whether it's Kenny and Kevin, whether it's Hooker and Kevin, like, they, they have different skill sets. So trying to get those guys in positions um, where we can best utilize them comes into play with all that stuff. Um, and then ultimately, there, there'll be certain calls, certain matchups come into play when you're playing man coverage, who you like versus who. Um, so I think that's an evolving thing. I don't know if it's, if it's an all-season thing, Paul. I think it's probably a little bit more week to week and then really based on who's out there for us and for them. Buck. Yeah, Shane, I know it's a, a small sample size, but Norris Jenkins really seems to fly around out there, really seems to enjoy himself. What what kind of impact can that have on, on some of the younger guys that you have in, in your uh, secondary at this point? Yeah, man, I think it's huge getting him in here. Um, he's a pro. Like, he hasn't been here. He can't, he's come in this week, and he's been prepared. He's went out there and hasn't missed a beat. Obviously, there's little things here and there. He's still catching up. Um but you feel his presence out there. You feel his presence in the room um, along with Kevin. Um, you feel his presence in the unit, talking to other positions. I mean, he's a guy that's been around, has had success at a high level, um, has been on good teams, good defenses. And I think just his uh, outgoing personality, who he is, is going to help us in being able to hold each other accountable um, and just the player-to-player -player demands um, where everything's not always falling on, on the coaches, um, where those guys respond to their each other a little bit more so than just us all the time. They're on. Yeah, Coach Shane, uh, uh, Kevin Byard, he has said that, you know, it's important to be more aggressive and, and challenge receivers. Uh, I would imagine last year personnel had to do with that. So, you know, when you bring in a guy like like Jack Rabbit Jenkins, you know, how was that something that you guys were looking forward to as far as that you're bringing him in? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we have we have our kind of identity, what we're looking for whenever we got holes to fill um, and what direction we want to go. And that's been a big thing for us. And those Kevin said it, we've been stressing to the DBs, um, just understanding like to go out there and play with confidence, challenge these guys, make them beat you and understand who you are, understand who they are. But at the same time, we got to put pressure on them to make some plays and not just give them easy, easy throws. Right. So, I mean, it's been a thing. And I think the personnel, like you, like you mentioned, I think the personnel is a big aspect to that, but also in regards to scheme and some of the things we do, um, where we put them in positions where they're able to do some of those things. John Lennon. Hey Shane, um, when we were talking to uh, Ryan Crow the other day about uh, Rashad Weaver, um, he was kind of uh, uh, talking up his personality a little bit, said, you know, kind of has a little bit of a swag, a little confidence out there. Um, wondering if, if you have seen that yourself and, and also in terms of learning, how is, how is Rashad doing in that uh, aspect as well? Yeah, he's been good. He's an engaging kid. He's outgoing. Um, I mean, he's business when we go to work, but he's he's not a defensive, quiet type of kid. Um, so it's fun to coach guys like that, guys that are outgoing, that want to learn, want to take things in where you can kind of mess around with them, where it's not all business 100% of the time. Um, 
but he's been good learning. Like he's doing stuff that he hasn't done in the past. Like we asked those guys to do a lot of different things. So he's kind of learning on the fly with some of that stuff. Um, and we're just going to have to be mindful of that as we move forward with him and with all these other guys, just what all we put on his plate um, in regards to those outside linebacker positions. How's the, the learning curve uh, going with him in that, in that aspect? I think he's been good. I do. I think he's picked up on things. It's, it's different, though, being able to spit it back in the classroom and do all those things, and then you get out on the field, and there's live bullets and bodies flying around, and you got to see things like there's a big-time progression from the classroom to the field, and I think that's where that's where it's got to continue to kind of move forward with these rookies. Like we got a lot of smart guys who can learn and can do some things, but being able to translate it to the field is a totally different ball game. Paul, sorry. Uh, okay, Paul. You want to you want to type your question? Uh, I know things changed this year and didn't do. Uh, your young DBs probably could have really benefited from. Yeah, I will. Well, you want to type your question? We can ask it for you. And Jim, in the meantime, you want to ask yours? Okay, Shane. I was just curious. I mean, you, you've been so hands on, um, you know, over the last couple of years as a position coach. I know you're trying to bounce around now. When when you see things in practice. Will you dive in, I guess, through the course of camp just to make sure guys are doing it the way you want to do it? And, what, and how's that process been like for you so far this offseason? Yeah, it's been good. Like I hit on before, I, I think just building those relationships, making sure everybody sees things the same way. They hear it from me, how I see things um, in regard to their position. I mean, we have unit meetings. We go through all that stuff. Nobody's, um, nobody's really – I guess, safe in those unit meetings. Like we're looking at everything, the good, the bad, the ugly in all position groups and really just making sure we're all speaking the same language because there's a lot of carryover. You look at it in defense, like there's obviously different positions and skill sets, but there's a lot of carryover uh, from position to position, whether it's man coverage, those types of things. So just making sure we see it, see it the same way. Um, and then also being able to show those guys, hey, man, you've done this in individual. I've seen you do this in drills. And then we turn on the tape and it disappears. Right. So just understanding, <clears throat> understanding that and how those things got to be able to progress from Indy uh, through the team periods. And I think for me, being able to kind of piece around and jump around and see all those guys, it allows me to kind of be in, in the moment with them see them do it. They know I'm looking for it. So when I go to hold them accountable for something in a unit meeting, I can say, Hey man, I've seen, I've seen this before. Like I know what we're coaching. I know what we're asking us to do. Like we got to be able to get this done when it gets to be live bullets. And I'm going to slide one on Roberson too. It's a guy you've worked with the last couple of years. There's some new bodies here. He is one guy who's back. What, what does he need to do to try to establish himself and find his way in that rotation a little bit more? Yeah, I, I think Roby's had a really good spring. I do. I've, I've been pleased with him this spring. I, I think he's came back here um, and he's changed his approach a little bit. I think he's been more serious about everything, more committed. Uh, I think he's getting older. Obviously, that plays a role, man. As you get older, you mature a little bit and you start to figure out what the leg is and you're not just swimming from one meeting to the next. So I think things have slowed down for him in that regard. Um, but the, the thing I always preach with him is consistency. Like I need the same guy every day, play in and play out. Like we got to know who we're putting out there. Like if I'm going to put you out there for 20 plays, like I can't have five to 10. I don't know what, what you're going to do, how this is going to be. Right. So the consistency, um, with him, but I've been pleased with Roby. I think he's had a really good spring. I'm excited for the fall to kind of see how he keeps progressing. Paul says, try him again, so let's try him again. Jane, I know circumstances changed from usual. Uh, did your DBs uh, in the big picture miss uh, the chance to go one-on-one -on -one with these receivers? Uh, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. One more time, Paul. Sorry. His question is asking if the DBs missed the opportunity to go one on one. Did your with the DBs miss the chance the to go one on one with the receivers this offseason? Uh, yeah, I mean, anytime, 
I don't know how much one on one we've really done in OTAs in the past, uh, anyway, Paul. But obviously, that's a huge aspect of it. No different than I was talking about individual. You take the individual and you either go to seven on or you go to one on ones, right? And being able to translate that stuff to hey, we're focusing on the technique. Hey, now we're bringing it to a one on one competition type setting, whether it's pass rush, whether it's coverage, whatever it might be, and then ultimately being able to take it to team where there's a lot more moving parts, but it's going to come down to, hey, me on this guy, I better be able to continue and carry through those techniques and fundamentals that I used in Indy, that I used in the one-on-one drills. I mean, it's a big it's a big progression. I'm excited. I'm excited for the fall, man, when we get a go. I mean, obviously with AJ, Julio, and the rest of that group, they've been doing a lot of good things. Um, so I'm excited for that and to see that competition. And it's only going to be good for us. So I'm looking forward to it, Paul. Last question, Glennon. Yes, Shane. Uh, curious, um, you know, what you have worked out with so far in terms of, uh, of Jim Schwartz. You know, if, if uh, you guys have done a lot of talking, if you've worked out any kind of a schedule, you know, do, do you go to his room and talk to him or does he come to you, you know, uh, offer some pointers? How, how has that worked so far and, and how do you expect that? To yeah, I mean, we're all in the bubble right now. So all I got to do is holler over the curtain and I can get him. Um, but yeah, we're talking every day we talk. We go through different things, um, different ideas, how he sees some things, um, how I see things, just talking through it, moving forward. Like we've, we've gotten a head start on kind of the season um, and how we want that to look and how that plays out. So, I mean, it's been good. He's a, he's a great sounding board for me. Um, he's done it a long time. He's had success. So being able to bounce ideas off him. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, man, there's a lot of ways to skin a cat. And I think, I think just here in different sides, even here in the offense, offensive perspective, um, from his point of view, from being a head coach, like he's adding a lot of value um, and he's been extremely helpful to me to this point. So I'm excited he's here.